Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at NuGet and NuGet packages inside the Visual Studio 2019. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. An essential tool for any modern development platform is a mechanism through which developers can create, share, and consume useful code. Often, such code is bundled into packages that contain compiled code as DLL along with other content needed in the projects that consume these packages. So for .NET, including .NET Core, the Microsoft su supported mechanism for sharing code is NuGet, which defines how packages for .NET are created, hosted and consumed. So, rather than just talking too much, yeah, this particular video, we will actually um, load a very simple .NET or .NET Core application. And then we will try and add some NuGet packages. We'll also try and remove some NuGet packages just to see how we can work with this bit here. So, let's get to it then. So, as you can see, I've already got Visual Studio opened. So what we got, we get started by creating a new project. So as you can see, we've got a new project dialog here. So I'm just going to select ASP.NET Core Web Application. Then we select Nest. And then here you can configure your new project details, but we're not going to look too much into that. So I'm just going to click on the create so here we're just gonna select web application then we're just gonna remove the configure for HTTPS so as you can see here now I've got the project or the new project created so to continue or to work with NuGet as a package consumer or a, co a creator, you can use command line interface or CLI tools as well as NuGet features in Visual Studio. So this so so in this video we will look at actually trying to install a NuGet package using the the provided Visual Studio interface. So if we look inside uh, the project, obviously, if you've been using the .NET or .NET Core, then you will be familiar with this bit here. But if you look at the project here, we've got the dependencies here. We've got properties. So inside of the dep dependencies here, framework. So we've got this bit here. So these are some the default packages that come with the, the, the template. So you can right click on the dependencies here. And then if we look here, we can see the manage NuGet packages. So once we click on that, so we've got the applications NuGet um, window opened, right? So as you can see here, we've got no packages. We can click on the updates here. So as you can see, here, we've got no packages found as well. So basically if, we, if we've got some packages here we can update them by clicking on this bit here or we can click on the browse to look at um, other public packages so if we scroll down there are, there are a bunch of packages that obviously we can download entity framework microsoft asp asp.net.mvc so as you can see the name goes on and, and forth so you can also if you if you're not if you don't find what you're actually looking for you can actually type whatever you're looking for so i mean let me type something like twitter and see what actually comes out of. so here obviously we've got microsoft.asp.net called authentication dot twitter so basically, if you want to use a third party authentication, 
you can actually download the package straight away without actually doing all the hard coding right so this is this is how useful the new get is or the new get packages are so to be able to consume it all you're gonna do is, is click on that package that you want to consume or you want to download so on the right on the right window so as you can see we will be able to select the version so here as you can see we've got a bunch of versions so basically what you do is you select the version that is compatible to the application that you're building so here we can for more options you can um, draw down the options for more options as you can see so here you can you can you can uncheck or you can check the box to show <coughs> a preview window or you can uncheck the box not to show anything right so basically this package will be downloaded from will be downloaded from the new get.org right so to be able to download it all you click is install so if you look down here it's being downloaded so here you'll be so visual studio is about to make changes to this solution click ok to proceed so once you click ok here you you accept the uh, the license and agreement for the package so once you accept it so we, as you can see we have an error the package restore failed rolling back changes for web application to blah 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 it's not compatible i mean it's not compatible with netcore app 3.1 so basically this is a .NET core app version of v5.0 so you have to also bear in mind in terms of actually um, downloading a compatible package so we're just gonna use this bit here as well try this one here and see so as you can see we've got a bunch of actually resources that actually has been packaged with that with this um new get package so there are some times you get this that when you're downloading one package obviously you'll be prompted to download other dependencies so you click ok accept and we should have the whole thing sorted out so we're still getting some warning so yeah you can sort you can have a look and make this like um your homework something to sort out yeah so as you can see it's not it's not very difficult and once you install them so you can easily remove the package if you don't need it anymore by clicking on clicking it so here as you can see we've got uninstall so once you click on uninstall and you follow the uh, um, on screen instructions you'll be able to uninstall it so as you can see no package found so we've we'll be, been able to and install the package right so here package restore on project is disabled so you can click on here to restore packages but hey that will be for another video so there, there are one more thing that i would like to say before i actually sign up so to be you'll be able to download a new get package by using these tools dot net dot exe.org.net executable so this is CL, this cli2 for .NET core and .NET standard libraries and for any sdk style project such as one that targets .NET framework included with the .NET core sdk and provides core NuGet features on all platforms and then we've got the NuGet. the first one was .NET .exe. And this is NuGet.exe. So this is CLL tree for .NET framework libraries for any non-SDK style projects such as one that targets .NET standard libraries. And then we've got the Visual Studio window or the, uh, the NuGet package manager. So in this case, you'll be able to actually um, download it using the Visual Studio 
NuGet package manager. So I will just leave it here. So I hope you can just favor your knowledge on this. So I'll catch you up again on, the, on my next video. So once again, have a lovely morning, afternoon, and evening, wherever you are. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do. Peace.